What is up? It is Paul V from Real 1039 Las Vegas is number one for hip hop and R&B. And I have the absolute pleasure of having my bro in the studio with me today. What up, R3D? What's up, man? Not much, Paul. How you living, dog? Dude, I am doing good, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for asking. Of course. But what I'm trying to do is find out how you doing, bro. This interview is about you, my <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. I can't even lie right now. You know what I mean? Just working hard, staying at working it, hard. staying All consistent. Right. Yep. You know, getting ready for the show tomorrow. Getting ready for the show tomorrow. Yeah. Bro, I love it. Let's dive right in, man. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, I am... One of the supporting artists for Iggy Azalea and Snoop Dogg opening up in Mandalay Bay Beach. Mandalay Bay Beach. Yep. 9 p.m. It's going to be crazy. I'm like ecstatic right now. Bro, you already got your songs laid out, yes, everything. Sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Sound check tomorrow. Sound check tomorrow. That's yep. what's up, man. Mm -hmm. Bro, so tell me, how does. How does because we go back a lot of, of people might not know this, but we go back since high school, man. Man, so that's man, I've been the bro. You and ever since I met you, bro, yeah. you've always have been about the music, yeah, always, bro. That's why so, I appreciate this right now, dude. I know, isn't it <laughs> like it's got it's like full circle, isn't it? Isn't it, that crazy? Yeah, it is. Um, but bro, so you been making music, you you know, been an artist, you've been producing all this stuff, bro. How do you go from you know, this guy who like is in high school and is working on his craft to putting all those years of work and then getting to be opening up for Mandalay Bay Beach for the all-star for the w WNBA all-star oh. beach party oh at Mandalay Bay Beach how did how did that like if you could just give us a description of how you got there bro uh, to summarize yeah um, I would say consistency for sure um, not not giving up like it's you know what i mean that's the that's the whole thing is it's, yeah. it's really just training your brain to continue having faith in yourself you know what i, I mean you. at the same yeah. time keeping a uh, very very good energy okay you always want to keep good energy yes and keep uh keep long-lasting connections <laughs> Bro, that's dude that's got to be like the biggest thing around me because like energy is like to me it's almost everything yeah you know what i'm saying because yeah. whether you're whether you're pushing papers somewhere or you're an artist or you know what have you like it, right. to me it's all about the energy bro and that's yes, dude that's i couldn't agree more with you man so tell me so tell me about like your journey bro did you have ups did you have downs of like course. give me yeah give me some of that man man there were many 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 downs um did you ever what? get to a point where you felt like, man, you know what? I oh, should I, you know, should oh, I, stop? I already know where you're about to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, since we're going there, I was yeah. going to give a different example. No, we'll no. start before that. Okay, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. This okay. is perfect, this is perfect. All right, all right, so, uh, 2013, um, it's probably like around my birthday in March, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm really contemplating on yeah. just giving this music scene up. I'm like, I'm so done. I was like, all right, and if I'm not done, I because I didn't know it for myself, but that's how I felt, you know Right, what I, mean? I got you. I was all like, if if I'm done, I'll just help out another artist or something like that, Like, right. you know what I mean? I, I won't record, basically. Got you. Like, and still then, be still be in music. I'll still be in music, not, yeah, but yeah. I won't be the artist. I got you. You know what I mean? Um, freaking, I was like, I'm going to drop this project, and if, like, it just does nothing then whatever. Yeah. So I dropped the project, it's called 13 Tell the Infinity in August of that year. Okay. I think in September, I met Absol. Damn. <laughs> okay. You feel where me? Were you, where were you at, bro, when you met him? Uh, no boy, okay, this is the story. I was, in, I was here in Vegas. Okay. Someone tells me, hey, you trying to meet Absol? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> so, uh, like you really asking me? You right really now? asking me yeah, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, "All right, because we about to go to Cali right now." Oh damn! I'm okay. like, for real? Can I wash some clothes or something? Yeah. He's like, "Yeah, you got a little time." So I wash my clothes. <laughs> yeah. We dip to Cali. I fall asleep. I wake up. Absol's next to me. That's insane. <laughs> what do you mean next Just, to you, bro? Outside the window? No, what I'm talking mean? about in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we already left the airport. Yeah. Like, when did we pick him up? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm just bugging, dog. I'm, like, in a tank top, and yeah. I'm like, damn, like, 
Wipe, wipe it, wipe it, like, stuff <laughs> out your eyes. Ah, yeah. you know what I mean? This man yeah. saw me sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just bugging. Yeah. And it was, it's been a great, like, experience since then. Can't, can't lie. Yeah, so yeah. he basically gave you some more fuel to be like, you know what, I could do this. Yeah, him, the people around him, my cousin, a lot, uh, the whole California experience. I was there from 2013 to 2016. Okay. And... I felt like that was my artist management. Okay. You know what I mean? On some like self made stuff without having a label or a manager. Or Behind you, right, absolutely. Right. I felt I felt that was my artist management because yeah. I learned so much about the industry and about myself. I got you. At All the right. same time. It was so much of myself that I didn't know about when I was going through those experiences. Right. You know what I mean? And it was Eye opening. It was really eye opening. You yeah. know what I mean? And it, it it's fun to look back on now. And I'm like, oh, I'm so thankful I went through that. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know how I'd be handling a lot of different things. That's 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 life right there. Yeah. One little choice can lead to something right huge like that, bro. Exactly. So they would um like you said, you never had a label behind you or a manager nah. or anything like that. Would you reach out to them when you came across like you know, um, like trouble or not even trouble just like advice like if you needed advice True on story. Something, yeah. yeah yeah they were um uh, very helping with that part you can call them down there anytime like i used to call soul and he'd pick up like or he like if he didn't pick up he hit me within 48 hours right right what's good Arthur? hey what's up man yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i mean yeah how about mr color i was doing whatever <laughs> you gotta explain it yeah. yeah you know what i mean but yeah, I'm just glad you picked up. Yeah, I'm just glad you picked up. I yeah. didn't know you can call me back. I didn't know you would know my number. Like, even yeah. you know what I mean. But it's still like you know what I mean because I'm such a fan at the same time. But right. now it's much more than that. Like right. you know what I mean. It's like so. Yeah, that was definitely definitely a great experience. So, bro. So you were out. You know, you were doing music in Vegas, and then you said you went to LA for how many years? Three years. Three years. Do you think that? Um, is good advice to give out maybe other artists that might be struggling here in mm -hmm. Vegas to maybe, hey, maybe, you know what, it doesn't hurt to branch out a little bit. It does not hurt. Okay. I honestly um, recommend that to every artist, no matter what city you're from, just okay. because the... Because it's exposure, right? It's at exposure. The end, at the end of the day. So I talked to an A&R, and I was asking her, I said, um, should I pay money f to perform at this venue? And she said, they're giving you a stage, they're giving you a crowd, they're giving you a microphone, they're giving, she named like a bunch of good right. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To make me realize that I'm very ungrateful. <laughs> oh, damn, okay. No, <laughs> as, a, as an up and coming way. artist, as an artist who's trying to get up and like, you're pissed because you have to pay for somebody who's gonna give you a crowd and a microphone and a whole, do you have your own DJ? Do you have your own microphone? Do you have your own sound system to set up your own performance? No. Shut up and pay ten bucks or however much there is. Like, nothing too crazy. It's nothing yeah. too crazy. It could be Miami is asking fifty dollars right now. I'm like, what? That's a steal. <laughs> like for me, like you know okay. what I'm saying. That's what I'm like. But it's like I'm in Vegas though. You know what I'm saying. So Bro, for yeah. Miami to be like, hey, come out here and pay fifty dollars and we'll give you a stage and a crowd right. like on our strip. Like what? Hell yeah, I want to go. Bro, that's, that's one thing that it is, though, that you have and that I can attest to from the day that we met each other, bro, is your ego, man. You have none. You know what I'm saying? I like, have an ego. Like, I just... Like, you have... Yeah, you are humbled. A humbled <laughs> ego. Right. At the end of the day, we all do have Yeah, an yeah, ego. of course. I, of course. Right, appreciate but, dude, it, your, your ego yes, is sir. so humbled, man, and... Same as you, fam. Bro, I appreciate okay, that. Okay, okay, bro. That's all I love you. Know? I, I was telling the homie in the car, I was all like, bro, I love Paul so much. Dog. I was like, since high school, he never changed, bro. I was all like, Dude. we've been vibing for so long. I was like, we used, to, we used to make the funniest videos. All the time, bro, at <laughs> ITV. I still remember that, bro. The whole school would see it. No, man, because that's, that's like it. Like I said, too, man, that goes back to that energy. Yeah. I've always felt like, bro, you, you've always been my bro because I've always felt like comfortable with you. And then, right. like, not like, and I mean, obviously, what helps is the whole music music thing right of course me of always course. being interested in it of course and you actually doing it bro yeah like but it's the energy that i think we that we have and that we surround ourselves with of course bro that just like that just amplifies it, yeah. like what well, you know elevates everything uh, everybody yes yeah. bro, that's yeah, a great exactly. word that's a great word man yep um what was i gonna say so what advice really besides like maybe branching out mm -hmm. do you maybe have for like other artists that are up and coming that like man i don't know if i 
you know, I, should I do this? Should I not? You know what I'm saying? Because you've been there. So what advice can you give back? Um, it's uh, great advice that someone told me. It's not what you do. It's what you don't do. Okay. Um, I turned down two shows recently before this show. Okay. And I thought to myself, the All Star Show, yeah. Should I have not done that? Okay. You know what I mean? Am I acting a certain type of way or some some something? And then this show popped up. I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like, okay, that was one of the things I was not supposed. I was supposed to not take those shows. You know oh, what I'm I saying? I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Like Sometimes it was in your cards. It was in yeah. my cards, and I I purposely chose. It was two shows, and yeah. I purposely declined those shows. This show came about, and I was like, "That's why I declined those shows." Yeah. There's advice like there's there's examples like that. There's also different examples of the exact opposite. Okay. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard to explain because you have to go through it, but it's like um, sometimes you can get you can meet someone, right? Got you. Yeah. And you will feel like, "Yo, this is like a dope person to be around. This is a dope person to meet." Yeah. Maybe. This person can help me out, like you know what I mean. This okay. person can offer me something or whatever it is. Like yeah. we can we can do something together. Yeah. And a lot of the times it can be the exact opposite. Oh. Um, you met this person right. because you were supposed to help this person. I got you. You met okay. this person because in the long in the long run, y'all will have a great opportunity that's building for each other. But right yeah. now, things are flipped. Like right, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't understand that until I started going through those things. You get right. what I mean? It's it's kind of hard to say that, but that's one of the that's one of the greatest things I can I can say for anybody. It's not what you do; it's what you don't do. What and it's do. not it's, it doesn't mean don't do anything. Do a lot, like right. do a whole bunch. You know what I mean? Do yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. but it's certain things you should not do. Like don't drop. A fucking, uh, excuse me. No, go ahead, man. It's all good. <laughs> Don't <we> worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> Don't drop. Don't drop a uh, uh, a crazy ass song without a follow up. You know what I mean? I got you. Okay. You know what I mean? Don't 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 freaking do a song with somebody who's really don't mess with your music i don't know it's like it's little stuff but you kind of won't see it though like you may yeah. think you should be messing with them because they have clout or you whatever right. it is or you know what i'm saying but it's like he gave a great example earlier of the dude that he it was what was it it was a it was a somebody who wanted to work with him or something like that or whatever okay. but he has like he's friends of trump and yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like about to do a song, he's signed a future, some stuff like that, whatever. But I got you. the energy wasn't there. Oh, all right. You get what I mean? So really, it comes back to like really trusting. Yeah, your gut. you have to your, trust your, your gut intuition. more than yeah. what you see or what you, what you yeah. think they can do or whatever. You feel me? It's like the it's, it's it's usually flipped. You I know what I mean? You. And yeah. it's hard to, I don't know, but that's like. That's one of the best advice I can give. <laughs> I got you. No, 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 bro. And then speaking of which, man, who you got here in the studio with us, bro? I got Where the homie Fetish, Fetish Beats right now. You know okay. I mean? From Missouri. He out here getting it. All right. Audio Shout engineer out. making beats and all that other stuff. Shout I got out the homie beats. Ricky up in here, a.k.a. High Visuals. Y'all can both follow them. He photographer, killing the game and stuff like that. Y'all can both follow them on social media. All right. Shout out High Visuals. All yes, right. Yes, <laughs> Derek Driver on social media, but High Visuals on social media. Bro, that's like, that's that's the thing that I love too that you do. Like, you have other people around you who are hungry for the game. And right. I think that's like, you know how they say like your tribe is your vibe. Yeah. You know, on some, <laughs> yeah. on, on some kind of like funny. Exactly. Shit. Like, I know you what know you're what talking I'm about. Our stuff. I should say, look at me. I'm <laughs> I know that. <now. laughs> it's the energy. I'm it's the, it. I'm, I'm telling it. you, bro. It really <laughs> is. But like, dude, that's 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 incredible, man. Because that's honestly like what I wanted to do for local artists out here bro okay. like is is to start something where we could shout out people mm -hmm. that we got in here and bro mm -hmm. when you called me on the phone that one day and asking about you know because right now it is the real 1039's vegas sound drop let's but do it back in the day it was called real local love right and when you called and i picked up the phone bro if that ain't like Yo, destiny or something I'm i don't even know you, the word is bro but i tripped bro yeah. i was like in front of the house and i was like Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no way! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Are, what are you 
you know? Like, right. that was crazy. Yeah, it was. It, 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 it was definitely. It was definitely meant to happen that way for yes, sure. For bro. sure. Yes. And then from a year later, from then to going to Vegas sound drop. Yes. I was all like. I don't care what nobody says. Paul did that. Like, I was, that, like, I was man, like, I don't care what nobody says. Yes, I was like, bro, it took him a year. That. <laughs> it, it did, man. It, it, to, to be honest with you, man, it took me longer than that. Okay. But it just was something that I knew that I wanted to do, and I had to wait for the right time because, to be honest, uh, you know, it was a collaborated idea, but I wasn't. I was behind the scenes. I wasn't really the one being on air yet or anything like that. Right. But guess what? I was listening to the music. I was mm -hmm. talking to all the artists and all right. that, bro. And I knew once I heard you, bro, yeah. like uh, once you called, bro, of and course. you told me that you submitted, I listened to the song, yeah. dude. I was like, yo, this gotta be on. Uh -huh. And it's not, and just to, just to like, Put it out there, bro. Thank you. It ain't it ain't just me, bro. It was other people that were asking for it. Like I I just don't put the music on. It's got to go through a chain of command. I heard it. My APD heard it. My PD heard it. And they're like, yeah, we need to put this on. And that's what it was, bro. Like it's not just me that. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me just throw this song in. Real I quick. wanted to also uh, say thank you for that because You're people welcome, be bro. asking me, and I'd be like, it's not just. Paul, like, right, who's yeah, choosing the songs, who gets to, like, you know what I mean? I was yeah. like, he could probably throw be like, yo, I like this song, you want to hear it? Like, you know what I mean? Yes. But I was like, that's as much as he can do. That's I was all like, it was, man. There's, there's a whole, there's a team of people who chooses these songs yeah. collectively to make it on there. I was like, he was just like, oh, you know, Paul, you can throw me on the radio. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, man, yeah, that's the thing. It ain't like that at all, bro. Like, it's, it really takes somebody who's gotten like oh, oh you got your licks in yes, man you know what yes. i'm saying you've been doing this right. since high school yeah. man so like you could tell you could hear that in the music too uh -huh. it's like oh man this is someone who knows what they're doing right you know the beat is right the Thank lyrics you, are right I like appreciate everything that. just sounds good bro. i really appreciate yeah that. so i definitely wanted to say that because i know like People ask me about that too, like, yo, man, you just put our 3D on because you know. I was like, no, man, have you heard it? Yo, you know, have you heard this stuff? No idea how <laughs> much I hear that. Like, yeah, bro. I heard my my cousins from California asked me, and I was like, what? No, man. Did you not know it's called Vegas Sound Drop? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not called Vegas Sound Drop. No, it's not called. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's all good though. I'm, yeah. Now the air is clear on that, just for everybody who doesn't know. So they can all know, brother. Thank but you. no, R3D, my man. Thank you so much for coming in today. Yes, sir. Bro, please shout out everything that you want to shout out. And man, let me just go ahead and say this. R3D has been with, you know, the Vegas Sound Drop, previ previously known as Real Local Love, almost since the very beginning. So this man is a vet. He's making great music, and you need to be listening to him. And that's R3D. R3D, go ahead, man. Once in for the deal, I'm, I appreciate that. That was a great entrance. Um, Check out Blue Season 2 right now. You can hear that on all platforms. Uh, shout out to my mom. <laughs> there you go. Hey, we can't forget about mom. Real quick, got to shout out to the mom. Got to shout out to the family. Shout out to all the Saga Saiyans. 19 till infinity on the way. I'm going to drop a surprise thing before that. And um, I'm working on something special with a uh, directed crew from Barcelona next week. There it is. And uh, yeah, I, I just can't, I don't want to leak it to y'all, but I just can't wait to show y'all hey, after the finished project. You know what I mean? Shout outs to Paul, Real 103.9. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? Everybody in here, homie Fetish, homie Ricky. Man, it's all love, man. I'm humble. Thank you. Boom. Oh, 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 oh the, saga yeah. the saga continues. The saga continues. All right, the marathon continues. Y'all yeah, know.